Hello, my dear students, and welcome to Week 7 Overview, October 15 to October 19. During this week, we will be talking about photosynthesis, which is the last lesson of Unit 1. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to construct an explanation using models for how plants and other organisms use photosynthesis to make food, also explain the role of light, carbon dioxide, water, and chlorophyll in photosynthesis, also cite evidence to support the role of photosynthesis in the cycling of materials and energy through ecosystem. Our main vocabulary for this lesson, photosynthesis, autotroph, heterotroph, and chlorophyll. Our academic vocabulary, which is equation. So we're going to talk about living things and energy. We are going to talk about that, for example, we have here a real life situation that talks about environment kelp forests that are important part of the ocean ecosystem. We're going to talk about this in more details. We're also going to talk about energy from the sun. So what happened is that photosynthesis is a super cool process where plants use sunlight water and carbon dioxide to make food which is glucose and release oxygen during photosynthesis plants absorb light energy using a pigment called chlorophyll which is found in their leaves this energy then is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and we're going to talk about the energy chain also, we're going to talk about making and obtaining food. Technically, we are going to understand what is the difference between heterotrophs and autotrophs. So technically, what that means is that autotrophs can create their own food, but heterotrophs have to find food by themselves. We're also going to talk about photosynthesis and like I mentioned earlier that photosynthesis is going to be divided over uh, more than one stage. So for example, the stage one, which is trapping the sun's energy. So chloroplast, the organelle that we studied at the beginning. So the green organelles in plant cell use chlorophyll to absorb sunlight during the first stage of photosynthesis. So as shown here, so we have here hydrogen energy, we have stage one and stage two. Stage one, water comes in and oxygen comes out. And stage two, carbon dioxide comes in and sugar comes out. So here we have, we're gonna also going to go to the lab. Okay, so we're gonna go to the lab for comparing cells. Then we are going to continue talking about the uh, photosynthesis, for example, the stage two making food. In the stage two photosynthesis, cells produce sugars. Uh, sugars are carbohydrates that are useful for storing chemical energy and for building larger molecules. So the production of glucose, it's shown right here. Okay, so for example, here we have carbon dioxide, here we have oxygen, and this is glucose, and technically this is the light energy. Then we're going to talk about expressing photosynthesis. So this is the chemical equation, as I said earlier, that our academic vocabulary for this lesson, which is equations. So technically, this is the light energy. We have carbon dioxide, water, glucose, and oxygen. Okay, so we have six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water are in the equation to the left of the arrow. These compounds are raw materials or technically what we call them in chemistry, those are reactants. So one molecule of glucose and six molecules of oxygen are on the right side of the arrow. These compounds are the products. So what happens to glucose and oxygen that is produced by plants during photosynthesis, plants use some of the glucose for growth and other functions, some to make other materials such as cell walls, and some is stored for later use. Oxygen is released into the air. So this is where the roots store energy, leaves build cell walls, and seeds also store energy as well. 
we also have here the important